Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share a layout that I created with my November 2020 Counterfeit Kit Challenge kit. Uh, this is layout number one, and I'm showing you all the products that I've pulled to possibly use on this layout. Not that I'm going to use them all, but the, they're just my options. I have a couple of photo mats because it's going to be a two photo layout. And I'm starting with a sketch from letsgetsketchy.blogspot.com. Um, and this is just my starting point. By the time I'm done, I do have the diagonal stripes, but um, in the end, it doesn't represent 100% of the sketch. Um, so yeah, uh, those are my pattern papers. They are from Echo Park and it's from a fall line. Uh, beautiful fall colors. I love them. And the photos that I chose to use are ones that I had brought in from uh, like the first fall outfit maybe that I put together that year. The photos were actually from 2018, so I'm not 100% certain, but they were the first photos that I found uh, in my photos that I had already printed out that had a fall look to them. So, yeah, I'm just putting that down with a little bit of tape so that I can cut off those corners. And I can tell you, there's nothing professional about this, guys. Um, how I do these cutoffs, um, anyone can do it this way. It may be easier than some ways. It may be more difficult than some ways. I don't know, but it's how I chose to do it. And so the rest of that pack pattern paper will go into my stash. And I thought about using that brown piece as the background, and then I opt not to because I'm going to use the white as a background, and then I will use the brown as a smaller corner on the bottom of the photo. But first, <laughs> I'm going to take some washi tape. Uh, I did add quite a few rolls of washi tape to my stash, and um, I'm going to add in several pieces here, three different pieces of washi tape, and that green is quite old, um, and so I opt to um, use that little bit there, and then I'm going to uh, cover that middle section with my photos, so I'm okay that it's separated. And I have learned with these older rolls of tape that if you just pull very, very slowly, um, this video is sped up so it looks like I'm pulling off quite quickly, but really and truly I'm pulling that super slow. I don't want it to tear any more than it already has. Um, and then I'm pulling out this striped piece uh, I've had this, I think it's an older Felicity Jane. Sorry, I don't have the tapes right in front of me. Um, or not Felicity Jane, Freckled Fawn. Um, and I've had it in my stash for a good long time, at least two, maybe three years. Um, and it's a huge roll of tape. I think it's going to take me till forever to finish it off. So anyway, um, I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to grab my little pieces of tape and I'm going to cut off that bottom corner. And I'm using the uh, mat or the, the table mat to as my cutting guide. Um, and once I get that cut, I realize it is not the same size. <laughs> so I did not use it accurately. And so I'm just going to tape it back down and then cut uh, a different corner. And it's okay. Um, that little piece won't go to waste. And so you can see me counting um, to make sure I have the correct number of squares where I make the cut so that I have an evenly spaced piece of paper. And I'll use those little craft color border strips that I pulled out. I will use those at the bottom as well. And I'm just leaving a bit of a gap um, so that you can see the white cardstock around the edges. Um, I love that it gives it a little extra dimension to do it that way. Now the craft pieces that I pulled, they are not quite large enough to go all the way across. 
And so I'm going to have to butt them up against each other. But that's okay because I will have my um, my title going across those. Sorry, guys, I lost my words there for a minute. Um, so yeah, and you can see I'm going to put that uh, little bit of washi tape that has the um, feathers on it across the back. And so yeah. All of that's put down, glued down, and now I'm going to use this little piece of glitter paper that I pulled in. I had added this to my kit, and I absolutely love that rusty orange color. Um, it is so pretty. I did use some ATG adhesive, and now I'm using some glue dots um, just to give it a little extra sticking power. And I did cut my photos down as well. They are three and a half by five. I have um, a mirror in my bedroom, obviously, um, and so I just stood in front of that. Felt super cute that day, so I stood in front of it and took uh, photos. That was back in the days when I could wear cute clothes to work. Um, not anymore. Uh, now I have to wear, you know, my frumpy uniform, which I don't mind too much because um, it allows me to... Uh, bring home my clothing and throw them in my uniforms and throw them into a very hot wash. So there you see, I took that sticker that said hay rides and pies or something, and I just wanted a little bit of it to show. So I cut it apart and then put that little piece at the bottom and then the bigger piece at the top. I pulled a sticker from one of the sticker sheets and it's a that beautiful rusty color, uh, rusty gold and cream color pumpkin. And I just set it there. And I'm looking where I'm going to put my title. I think in the inspiration piece it had the title um, closer to the uh, photo, but I'm gonna change my mind and I'm gonna actually move it right down to the bottom. Um, and I think it works out well because it's going to give me a little bit of room to create another embellishment cluster. Um, and I'm just using what I'm looking at what I'm going to use for an embellishment there. And here I'm just adding a little extra adhesive, liquid adhesive onto the back of this alphabet. I have found that with chipboard alphabets uh, over the course of time, because not all of the uh, chipboard adheres to the paper, it um, allows air to circulate under it, and eventually that will work itself up. Uh, and so if you bend or buckle the page in the least little bit, uh, even picking up your albums can cause those to break loose and they'll end up in the bottom of your page protector. And so I've just learned that if I'm going to use chipboard, I know that I have to add a little extra adhesive on there and it gives it enough sticking power that I don't have to worry about that. So I pulled out the gold leaves and I'm going to put one in each little embellishment cluster. I love those leaves. I think they are so pretty. And then I've got this little package from Jolie's. It's from a hundred years ago. And so it has these little squash plants, um, almost like gourd plants. And so I take two of them and put them in one cluster and I put the one in the other cluster. And I just tuck them as such that, you know, they just look like fall embellishments. So there I've added one of those big um, dimensional pumpkins. Um, and there I just added a random sticker because I didn't want to put one of the squashy gourds up at the top. So I used a little bit on that top cluster and a little bit on that uh, middle cluster. And I'm looking at flare. I pulled in, I don't know how many pieces of flare to use with this kit and I did not use all of them. You know, it's kind of disappointing how many I did not use. I'm going to pull out my enamel dots and I'm going to use some on each little cluster. I've pulled in my big sequin um, 
leaves and acorns, and I was going to try and use one in each cluster, but then I opt against it. I did pull out a wood veneer uh, leaf to use on that top cluster. And then the other two clusters have uh, little leaves attached to the gourds, so I didn't bother putting anything else there. So I will get on my sticky dots, my enamel dots, and my layout will be done. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching my video today, and I hope this inspires you to get into your stash and pull something pretty out to play with today. Um, anywho, I will see you guys on the next layout. I appreciate you for being here and for watching my videos, and for those that have already subscribed, I appreciate that so much, more than you'll know. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.